Well, hello there. This will be the fourth time I've tried to record this. So let's hope it's the fourth time lucky. And no, I haven't lost my head. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you, oops, let me just adjust, um, some things that I've finished off finally. Um, this is, as you can see, it's the, um, what's, <laughs> I've forgotten its name after all the ones I've made. Um, oh my goodness me, it's just gone straight out of my head. Anyway, you'll know what it is. <laughs> it's the shrug. <laughs> um, that's the back view of it. It's not been blocked yet, so it's still a bit on the small side. It's, uh, oh, I can't think of its name. Why can I not think of its name? I'm so stupid today. Anyway, that's the first one I've got to show you today. Um, this is the second one I have to show you. I did block this one. Oh, excuse me if you see me back flirting in front of the camera. This is made in ice yarn cotton. Pattern unknown. Well it's not unknown to me because it's in my head but <laughs> pattern unknown to everybody else. Um, it's done in very pale pink cotton in ice yarn. Uh, it's got little sleeves. It's quite a plus size. I don't know what it is in measurement wise. And that's the back view of it. It's got the square neck. I hope you can... Ooh. I don't know quite where the camera is pointing. But there you go. It's got a square neck. So that's number two that I've got to show you. With a head. Um, this one I've just finished yesterday, although I don't know how because the craft light decided to pop a bulb. So I couldn't really do anything that was dark coloured, sorry Donna, but I couldn't do your, sh your shrug because it was um, too dark coloured for me to see. This is a Serdar pattern, I think I showed it to you. Oh gosh, let me have a look. Quick look, quick look. It's the third R pattern in cotton, which is 7237. I didn't put the band at the bottom because, you know, if you're a bit of a, a chunky lady like me, golf course shrug, that's what the other one's called. Not the golf, the golf. If you're a bit of a chunky girl like me, then you don't want anything tight around the bottom. So this has got the butterfly motif. Again, this is done in ice, but this is ice with um, acrylic. So it's just got the flat straight bottom. And the back doesn't have the butterfly on it. The back's just, woo, turn around lady. The back's just plain. And then I finally, finally, Stitched the buttons on the cardigan. La da da da. Uh -huh. Where are we going? Ah, uh, sit down in a minute. This is hurting my back. I never thought that dressing someone else could hurt your back, but it does. I've not taken any photos yet, so it won't as yet be going on. Oh, let's see, because it's half past ten in the evening. I was having trouble with the camera. The camera wasn't recording, so I was talking to myself for ages. So this is the one, it's from a vintage pattern. So this is the cardigan, it's in an Aran colour, and it's in a 50% wool. Again, it's another one of ice yarns. Turn around, lady, and that's the back. Back view of that. You can see it all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top. So that's the last finished item I've got to show you. Because as I explained before, let's see if you can see me now. Oh, let me sit down. Turn the camera on me, on me, on me. Hi there. Um, 
I've been having trouble. The craft light blue, the camp the light in the bulb blue. So it was like sitting in the dark ages without it. You don't realise how strong and how bright they are and how helpful they are to your grocer until you know it pops. Anyway, I ordered two, so I've now got a spare. So I've been busy myself today. I did actually get out on the decking for a short time, although it wasn't brilliantly hot. But I did manage to sit out on the decking for a little while. And I did a little bit of shopping, a few grocery shopping. While I was down there, I actually saw a bottle that was labelled American style root beer. Thought, hmm, gonna try one of those. Uh, how could I describe it? We have um, an antiseptic cream over here in a little pot thing that's pink and it's called germaline. The people who live in the UK know what I'm talking about. Root beer to me was like licking my finger when it was full of germaline. It tasted antiseptic to me and weird. <laughs> so sorry if you love root beer. Maybe the American style root beer we have in the UK is not like your root beer. But I really didn't like it. <laughs> it really was not nice. Ah oh dear. Anyway, the other day I did me good deed for the day. Uh, I met a lady on the village and she was getting a new scooter. Well, it wasn't a new scooter, it was new to her. So she stopped me to ask me a few questions about it. And then she asked me where I could, she could get a, a rain cape and where she could get a, a bag for the back of the scooter. So I just said, sit there, stay there. I'll be back in a bit. So she sat outside the cafe and I zipped home, zipped back up again and I said, here you are. You might as well have my spares. So I did my good deed. <laughs> what do they say, pay it forward. I don't always pay it forward with other things, but I did pay it forward with a rain cape and a bag for the back of a scooter. Anyway, what have I got to say? Not an awful lot, really. <laughs> There's a fly dive bombing me, as usual. It's driving me crazy. There he is. <laughs> he wanted a close-up on the camera. Yeah, I found out what was wrong with the camera. The camera wouldn't record. It was just going beep, 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 beep. I thought, what on earth? I even sent a message to Kelly saying, what? Because she's got a very similar camera to mine and she still has the manual to hers. I still got the manual somewhere, but of course, after three years, I've no idea where it is. But I found out that um, the videos have not been clearing off the memory card. I don't know why. They've always done it before. So the memory card was full and that's why it wouldn't record. So, anyway, along with my um, craft light bulbs, I also got this from Amazon today. I ordered it forever ago. Pre-ordered it, as you know what I mean. In fact, because I pre-ordered it, I actually saved 65 pence. Now it arrived. So it's Bohemian, no, Modern Bohemian Crochet by Beth Nielsen. And mixed feelings about it, as usual, mixed feelings. Some I like, some I won't do. Um, he's talking about bloom. Now this one appears to be circles, but when you look at it closely, it's actually motifs that are square. So I, I stand a chance with that shawl. This one's called the Flora Belt. It's too, excuse me. Can't you tell it's half past ten? It's um, like a tapestry crochet belt, I think. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty, as you can see. I don't think it's tunis, I think it's just tapestry crochet. But I haven't really read the book, so I can't really tell me that much. Um, that's another one. Was it the same shawl as before? Let me have a look. This fly is going to 
really annoy me in a moment. Yeah, uh, I think it's the same shawl, yeah. It's called the Brighton shawl for some reason or another. And although they look like circles, they're actually squares. But the, the squares are like very open work, chain work, aren't they? I don't know why, even when I count the chains, I always seem to get my petals a bit uneven. But I seem to have tightened up a lot with my crochet, so maybe, you know, I'll be okay now. This one, oh, oh, it's you, Peggy Pie. <laughs> oh, I'm not making the yarn. This one's called the Geneva cardigan. And I won't be making this one because it's hairpin crochet. And I really detest doing hairpin crochet. Uh, uh, too open work. This one's called the Dover Beret. I do not suit a beret. I do not suit most hats, but definitely not a beret. And that's the back view of it. I do not have a hat face. Now this one I like, it's very open work. It's called the Lotus Cap Sleeve Kimono. Again, there seems to be an awful lot, I don't know whether the chain's involved or whether it's double, treble crochet or whatever you want to call it. Triple, triple crochet. As you can see, it's very, very open work. This one's the first, the one on the front cover, it's called Radiant. And there's the, what's it called, Laughlin? Or I F. no it's definitely an L. The Laughlin tank. Laughlin tank. As you probably gathered, Sue didn't come on Friday. Otherwise we would have done a, a video. That's the top view of the same Laughlin tank. Um, the spike tote bag. It's probably because it's done in the spike stitch. Hope you can see this by the way because it's late at night and I've got overhead lights on and the light behind. I couldn't do the video out on the decking. Uh, I know some of you would be relieved because you always complain you can't hear me when I'm out on the decking. But it was uh, Sunday afternoon bedlam, people mowing lawns, people trimming hedges. <laughs> so it was quite noisy. This one's called the Kimball Top. This I think is circular motives. So it won't be seeing the light of day off my hook. There are certain things that I will not do because they bug me. Well, that's the Holland top, the one that's on the front cover. My attitude is, if I don't like doing it, I'm not going to do it. Which is why I do turn down some orders. <laughs> because I just simply, they're not what I want to make here. Yeah. They're just too tedious or too whatever. This one's called the Kinsey Tea. Kinsey Tea. It's got an unusual back view on that one, which is there. Again, it's more for the young. I wouldn't be wearing anything that shows me belly. Definitely nothing that shows half my back. <laughs> This one's called Mellow. It's a shawl with a, a Sue type edge in really, isn't it? <laughs> she likes doing unusual edges with little bits of dangling down. This one's the East Lake sweater. It looks very nice, but it's one of those where you have to, you know, cross over the stitches like a V, like, um, I can't explain it. A bit like an irony stitch. You can't see it because it's so very, very dark. Or maybe you can see it there. 
not one of my favourite stitches to do. I find it very, again, very tedious. Hazel mitts. At one time I would have tackled anything. I didn't like to get a that fly. Pat, a pattern beat me at one time. But now if it gets me down, I think, nah. Well, that's another picture of the Mayfield Charlotte. Life is too short to be crocheting something you hate, isn't it? I've started a few things and nothing wrong with them really, they're just tedious, you know? The pattern stitch annoys me or something like that. This one is the Lockwood bag. Done in, oh, that's quite a nice little picture of it. It's done in like a basket stitch. Oh, and also outside on the decking today, we had the fly past of the. Um, we live not too far as the crow flies from an airfield. And what I call the Saturday Sunday afternoon flyers were out, you know, the ones with the small planes. And they make a lot of noise when they go overhead, more than the big jets do. This one is um, a cowl in different shades, different colours. And I like this one. This is a, a Taylor Cable Cocoon. I like the look of it, but not sure whether I'd make it or not. That's something you won't see me wearing. <laughs> I did my leg warmer stint when her, in the 80s, I think it was, <laughs> when everybody wore leg warmers. Oh, that's another picture of the Nordica cowl. Very pretty. Um, oh, and I'm definitely going to have one of these. A Christiana Granny Square skirt. Of course, that length, of course. You know it's got to say that, didn't you? Might shock a few people when I'm on this scooter. Now this is a uh, Tunisian. It's the lunar headband that then goes on to be a hat, I think. Yeah, that's the lunar hat. I don't know whether they're separate or whether you, you, you put the headband on top of the hat. I, I really don't know. As I say, Tony K. He actually delivered this about um, 20 to 8 this, this evening. So that's the back view of the hat, but it's Tunisian, so it looks nitty. So that's about it, really. We had one more day of sunshine, but it wasn't hot, it was just sunshine. But that was nice. And then it spoiled it by turning into rain. And I had to gallop outside. Well, <laughs> gallop is sort of a figure of speech. Move a tiny bit quicker than I normally move. <laughs> and gather up the washing because it went damp and it'd been lovely and dry. It was my own fault because I knew I should be bringing it in, but I decided to have my dinner first. That was a big mistake because when I was three quarters of the way through my dinner, the rain came down. So it was like, do I cover up the... Um, garden furniture first or do I go and rescue the washing? So I just threw the cover loosely over the garden furniture and ran downstairs, <laughs> downstairs, down the garden steps and uh, well as, as I said run, <laughs> figure of speech. Anyway I managed to gather up the washing but I did have to put it into the dryer for a few minutes. So what am I doing when well, I'm still doing the navy blue uh, golf course shrug which I haven't been able to do for the last three nights because the bulb blew out on the light. So I did order it from Amazon but it didn't come like I said until this uh, this evening really. So it's getting a bit late now actually so it's 5 to 11 in the evening so I had doubt if I'll be actually doing a little bit of crochet tonight. I think I'll just call it a draw you know and off I go. I don't 
think much has been happening in my life apart from that. My niece came on Saturday to do my hair. It's looking a bit scracky. <laughs> I combed it and did it this morning, so it's looking a little bit worse for wear. A little bit as though I've been dragged through a hedge backward. But she came to do my hair because she's got, oh, her weekend was planned up for the next so many weeks, I don't know. Um, she's going to London to see her sister this coming next this coming weekend and then she's going somewhere else the weekend after with one of her friends who's over from the US and then the weekend after that she's going to Spain for the weekend and then the weekend after that I think she's going away with a hubby <laughs> so I won't be seeing her for the next four five weekends something like that so I haven't heard from Sue um I think she's actually officially retired, but I'm not too sure about that. But retired is sort of like um, not a retired from work altogether, it's just retired from what she's doing. And she'll be doing more work in the future, so... Yeah, but then of course when it comes summer holidays, Kelly will have the children at home, so I won't see Kelly. And then Sue is on grandma duty usually when the school holidays are, um, are there. And of course, if she's not actually working, that'll be something that she does. So I think I'll be a bit like Billy No Mates, really. <laughs> no mind. I will survive. I can always find things to do. So I don't think I've got much to say to you really, so it's going to be a shortish video. I mean, usually I waffle on for hours, don't I? I think it's the lateness of the hour that's getting to me. You know, it's making me feel a little bit sleepy. Although I did have a lie-in this morning. I had a lie-in and I had my bacon butties. Or bacon sandwiches, if you... Not from the north. It's bacon butties up here. I was going to have bacon, egg and all the full trimmings, but uh, um, the mood wasn't with me for cooking. The mood isn't often with me for cooking, to be quite honest. I actually had a chicken to put in the oven for today's dinner, but the mood passed me by. The date is not till, I think it's till Tuesday, the date on the chicken, so I can do it, make it tomorrow. I do hate cooking. It's just not my thing. I used to love it. I used to do it all the time. I used to bake. I used to do everything. I think I've just got lazy in my old age. Hmm, I think that's it. And I still haven't done the ironing. I'm so hopeless. I'm a hopeless hippie chick who has to be forced to doing the minimum amount of housework that, to keep my house from looking like <laughs> what was she called Miss Faversham when she was disappearing underneath the cowboy's and the dust. I think it was Miss Faversham, the one that used to sit there in a wedding dress. I think that was the one. Not quite that bad. I do force myself every now and again, and when I can see the dust, it's like, oh, look at the dust. So then I may spend another day contemplating the dust. But then the day after that, I will have to go and do the dusting. So I washed the dog's bed in, and I washed the cushion he lies on, uh, purely because everywhere was like thick with hair, you know. I love Gigi to death, but he is a little hairy monkey and he tends to shed hair everywhere. <laughs> I do comb him, I do brush him, but he still leaves me with plenty of hair. If you watch an Ephraim, I put your sweater on yesterday because it looked like it was going to be cold. And I came back downstairs again and I thought, no, this is going to be too warm. <laughs> So I had to go upstairs and change. So I almost wore your sweater. Almost. So, anyway, 
I'm going to try and finish off the golf course. Why do I keep saying golf course? It sounds like it's a golf course, doesn't it? The Gulf Coast shrub that I'm doing in the Blue Sparkle. I'm going to try and finish that off. And then I've actually got uh, two or three orders to be doing, which I need to, like the proverbial rocket, uh, <laughs> to get my brain in gear to start doing those. And um, tomorrow I need to take photographs of these things for Etsy if the weather is nice. And get them put on Etsy. They will not sell if they don't go on my sh in my shop, will they? I watch these motivational type videos sometimes, you know, saying, you will never make a fortune unless you can post something. I think they said every day or every week, and I'm thinking, they must be talking about shops that sell tiny things, that, where you can make a tiny thing and put it in, like a headband or something. <laughs> you know, I'm lucky if I could put anything in every month, let alone every week. I have been lingering about. I mean, these are about two months worth of stuff. I've got four things to put on now. But never mind. Craft room still hit a dead stop. I'm waiting for Sue to come um, to put the curtains up for me. And then maybe that will give me the incentive to uh, finish it off. I will show you what, what it's done. It's like when it's done. I've got an itch, you know. That usually means you're going to get annoyed with somebody. Well, seeing as there's only me in the house, who can I get annoyed with but myself? So, anyway, I hope you've all had a good weekend and I'm wishing you all a happy 4th of July because I know you're